Hey YouTube, Axel Fireflurry here. Today I bring I'm bringing you another of my favorite six types, and today ty today's type we are talking about fighting. Now I will be doing this solo, which is perfectly fine. Although I do wish uh, I, I wish Jenna or maybe even a demonic clown or just somebody was with me. Just it's more fun when I'm chatting with other people than I am just and with just myself. But that's perfectly fine. I do need to make more videos solo. But what what can you do? And I do apologize for the lack of uploads. My uh, life has just been like super weird and super crazy. And now that I have Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS, I've been kind of playing that, I will admit. I'm like, yeah, I could upload a video. I need to upload a video. But... I need to play as this guy one more time. I need to get that ultimate smash one more time. But now that that's out of the way, I'm also going to apologize. Today's going to be a kind of a weak video since this is a type I normally don't fiddle with. So please bear with me, and I hope you enjoy in any case. But let's get started. Number six is Lucario. Now, I actually do wish Jenna was here for this. Because I know she absolutely loves Lucario. I'm actually working on a Mega Lucario costume for her because she wants to go to conventions and whatnot. And because I do make costumes quite regularly. And she's a good friend of mine. So I figured, you know what? Let's make her a Lucario outfit. I even made the joke about delivering it to her in person dressed up as Sir Aaron from the Pokemon movie. But my stupid sewing machine broke. But that's not why I love Lucario. The reason I love Lucario is because I absolutely love dogs. I'm willing to consider this a dog. I don't care what any of you say. But I love dogs. And this particular Pokemon came out in a generation where there really wasn't a whole lot for me to get excited about. I mean, I saw pictures of some of the... Uh, I think it was Generation... Yeah, it had to have been Generation 4 where Lucario came out, I believe. But I was looking at a lot of the Pokemon. I'm like, eh, these kind of look like garbage. We're kind of we're kind of going downhill. Now, I'm not a Gen Runner. Muck, uncreative. Voltorb, Electrode, uncreative. Magnemite, uncreative. Jinx, creepy and uncreative. But it came out in a generation where I'm like, oh, this Pokemon actually looks kind of cool. And even in a competitive aspect, um, Lucario or even Mega Lucario can be a mixed attacker, physical, special. It can be a setup. I think you can even learn Baton Pass, which be, would be an interesting uh, psych out for uh, your opponent. But that's really all I have to say. It was a Pokemon with a cool design that came out when the designs really were and kind of are starting to go... Yeah, were starting to go downhill. And just for competitive aspect of it all and I can, now I do wish I had uh, Jenna's input on why she loves the design oh I love how fluffy Mega Lucario is because nothing says power like ultimate fluff and if we're going and giving Mega Evolutions just so they can be fluffy Mega Flareon much fluff such oh my god okay so now that's out of the way uh, let's go on to number five Hitmon Chan. Now, this Pokemon and the Pokemon that's coming right after, there really isn't anything more than just the nostalgia. Now, I remember collecting them in red and blue, and I thought they were so cool. And considering that they're based off of two of my martial arts icons, now I'm not considering them icons just because they are really awesome and they. Now, even the move pools I'm willing to consider, uh, while limited, can actually be uh, fairly good. Now, I'm not going to try to dive in and sound like I'm this huge, huge, awesome guy who knows absolutely everything about these Pokemon, because I'm not. Just going to that out right now. I don't fiddle with fighting types very often, so don't expect anything great. But I honestly think that... Uh, they could be, uh, this Pokemon and the Pokemon that's coming right after it could be really good to either Choice Ban, Choice Scarf, or even Life Orb users, simply because of how amazing their power is. Now, 
they do have really bad defenses and special defense to my knowledge. I would expect them to, so make sure you have somebody that can absorb the hits, like, now. So, I'm just going to fiddle with it with uh, Hitmonlee, which did make it on the list. Pretty much for the same reason with Nostalgia and the lack, and the fact that I think it could be kind of viable in singles, maybe doubles, not entirely sure. But, honestly, like I was talking about with Hitmonchan, uh, they're named after the, some of my favorite martial artists, and I, like I said, I love the martial arts, and to have martial arts Pokemon, that's really cool. Their move pool is pretty decent. I may fiddle with them in the future, see if I can actually come up with anything. I know Verlicify might have videos on them for doubles. I'm not entirely sure, but you should go check out his channel if you want to find out. I may even do that myself. So, again, Hitmonlee made on this list simply for nostalgic reasons. And I do apologize for that really horrible reason. Next, uh, we're going to be talking about Sock. Sock, I think, is a lousy Pokemon. I don't think he has a great move pool. I don't think his stats are great. I don't see him as a viable Pokemon. And now you're wondering, if he sucks at life, why is he on your list? Well, simply because he looks like a badass Bert from Sesame Street. Yep. Simply for that reason. He got tired of Ernie shit. He got tired of that relationship with that pigeon which I'm pretty sure moved into the realms of bestiality slash Muppet erotica but that is an entirely different video and an entirely different topic and I'm pretty sure someone has made awkward fan fictions about it. I'm not even gonna google it. I'm not gonna risk it. But he might be an okay expert belt user. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, it's mainly for the fact that he got tired of Sesame Street shit and decided to learn to kick some ass. I I really don't know what else to say. Badass Bert, no more rubber duckies. Okay, Conkeldur. Now, Conkeldur, I can actually give you a somewhat competitive reason to liking it. Because I have one transferred from Generation 5 before the Wi-Fi shut down. Uh... It's not much of a... It's, it's a physical attacker, but it's more of the uh, defensive and special defensive build. Um, it's been given leftovers, it knows knockoff, drain punch, and poison jab for those goddamn fairies. And, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember the last uh, move slot. My Pokemon game is actually in the other room, so I can't just... I could get up and grab it, but that's a lot more noise I want to put you guys with through. But how I built this particular Conkelder, it like I said, it, I'm not going to give you too many uh, details, but it is more of a uh, it's more of a wall and to do residual damage for the team that it is on. I mean, it can deal some heavy damage, but for the most part, it kind of is just to knock off those annoying items. But when you get like that switcheroo bullcrap, when you really need that leftovers, but you're stuck in like a choice scarf for whatever reason. If you're going to suffer, may as well make them suffer. Poison jab for the fairies, drain punch to get some more health back. And that's really all to say about Conkelder. It actually looks really creepy, so I can't say that I like it for the design. It's actually a really ugly design now they look about it. The proportions are just absolutely god-awful, and... Looks like a condom on his head. Alright, Machoke. Now, Machoke actually has a really funny story. Uh, back when I was a lot younger, okay, back when I was a little kid, and before I started taking martial arts, I was small, and I wasn't really bullied a lot, but I wanted to be bigger, and for, for the kids who did pick on me, for whatever really stupid reason, it never bothered me, but just to know that one day I could kick their ass was great. So I went home and I made a wish on the wishing star, saying, hey, make me a champ. I woke up. I was human. I figured to myself, okay, maybe it's because he has four arms and I only have two. Went home that night. Dear wishing star, make me a choke. I woke up. I'm human. I was pissed. But it did 
it got me on my road to martial arts, which I love it. Been doing it for over a, doing it most of my life, over a decade. I'm in my early to mid twenties now, so yeah, I may not be ridiculously buff and half naked, but I can still kick ass. And because at the time I never, I had friends who played Pokemon, but we never had the cords to trade the Pokemon, so I was always stuck with a Machoke. I wanted a Machamp. Actually, even now I want a Machamp, but I don't have anyone to trade with. I have a hundred friends, but none of them are ever free to trade. That's okay. I need to breed one before I ask to trade it. What's really have to say about Machoke? All right, that's really about it for him. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video, and again, I apologize for how lackluster this video was. Oh my goodness, this was an awful movie. But, it's a type, I, I hope you'll forgive me, but it is a type I do not really dive into very often. Uh, next time it should be the fire types, and hopefully I will have Jenna for that one, because I think she's a huge fire fan. And it's a type I really love. A lot of Pokemon I love are in the fire types. So, it's going to be a much better video. And I also apologize for just how crazy busy I've been and how little content I've been putting up lately. Life has just been super busy between work, my volunteer activities, and I've actually had a couple of uh, emergencies with some friends and I've needed to take care of them. So that's been taking up a lot of time. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody!